that's a good point to bring up though, because I'm talking about the strategies that have worked for you, but I know you're super innovative and you're always willing to try something new. Is there something brand new that you're trying nowadays that sh- is showing some promise? Brand new that I'm trying. I mean, I think the most brand new thing is like green room. <laughs> so it's like just trying to figure out what's going to work on green room and trying to see like Fireside is another app that I'm a founding creator for. That's another drop in audio app. And just trying to pay attention to all the different things that are coming out. I mean, Facebook just came out with live audio rooms and podcasts. And so it's a lot to navigate as a podcaster. And I think part of the, 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 the winning piece here are like the people who will win are the people who are going to be able to prioritize the things that matter and kind of ignore the noise. And I think that's easier said than done. But like, for example, like I'm not going to even bother with Twitter spaces. I don't, I'm not active on Twitter. I don't care about Twitter. I've already decided I'm not going to even touch that green room. I'm really feeling like bullish on it and I need to spend more time on it. And I'm going to have to divide my time from clubhouse now so that I can figure out how I can be active on green room and not ignore that before it's too late. Cause you see all these people on clubhouse, the people who are on there in the beginning, some of them have millions of followers and, and really they didn't work too hard to get that. And so I want to make sure I don't miss the boat for some sort of situation like that. Cause I feel like I did miss the boat on clubhouse. I got on there actively in like February, it's too late. You know what I mean? And so, uh, it was really hard to even get those 12,000 people that I have. Whereas there's other people who have spent way less time on the app and have way less valuable content who have 50, 60,000 followers. So, um, yeah, I just don't want to miss the boat this time. There's such a follower frenzy with new apps because people are like, I'm following no one. I got to find people to follow quick. So like you would answer one person's question on Clubhouse and they're, you're probably both going to follow each other. It was like everyone in the room follow each other. It was like just so open. And now yeah. I'll be like, I'll sit in a room forever. I'm like, just dropping knowledge. I'm like, someone follow me, damn it. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> that's what I was like, all right, maybe I'll chill on this. But I'm just imagining you like recording a podcast with like three phones in front of you, with like one on Clubhouse, one on Green. I mean, that's what's happening. Greener, that's and- what was happening yesterday. And it's, it's, it's a lot like to have to manage all that tech. And I was streaming. I had a live room yesterday with um, Mark Randolph from Netflix. He was the first co-founder of Netflix. And then I had the first co-founder of Kickstarter, Yancy Strickler. And I was doing this like startup school room live on Clubhouse, streaming it to Green Room. But nobody was in my green room room. <laughs> and I was like, this is so complicated. I'm just shutting off this other phone. Because uh-huh. <laughs> it was just like, there's not, it was like five people in the other room. And I'm like, okay, this didn't work. You know, like, but that's part of learning. You know, it's part of experimenting yeah. and figuring it out. And maybe there's something I did wrong where it didn't get promoted in green room right or whatever happened. So, yeah. That's definitely the right mentality. You're not worried about the result. You're just worried about if you tried it or not. And I think a lot of people, they're so worried of like, what if I try it and it doesn't work and then it doesn't and then they get super disappointed. And it's like, why even be disappointed? You just wanted to close the door. Now you know it's not a good option. So moving yeah, on. I, yep, 100%. And also seeing like, let's say I start rooms on Green Room and they start taking off. It's like, and then you know to deprioritize Clubhouse. But if I keep doing rooms on Green Room that aren't taking off, then I'm like, well, I better just focus on Clubhouse because people are still coming to my events. I don't want to turn off the people who I already like turned on, you know, so um, totally get you there. <laughs>